I'm Pamela Paul, editor of the New York Times Book Review. Well, it's about girls telling their stories, which is incredibly important. That's at least 50% of what I do, which is to bring out uh, the voices of women writers and men writers, too. Um, and so we're always looking to uh, encourage a new generation of writers. It's important to remember that every person's voice is important and that it's everyone has a story to tell and everyone tells it in her own way. And so you don't have to worry about, you know, is my life interesting enough or have I achieved great things or have I overcome huge obstacles? Because all of us are going through the little things as well and all of those are important and can be written about beautifully. I've been keeping a journal of every book that I've read since I was 17 years old actually because I felt that what I was reading and where I was internally was really who I was. It was often, often I felt like I found who I was in the stories that I immersed myself in, in a way sometimes more than where I actually was. And so that for me has become a kind of a record of who I was as a teenager and then through my 20s and 30s. One book I really loved when I was a teenager was A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle because it had such a strong female heroine in Meg Murray who was a woman, a girl, who took herself seriously as a thinker, as a scientist, and who had a mission in her life, which was to save her father, and she accomplished it.